out or you're like there's not a lot of pressure at the mid range anymore. Right. Like usually if you're trying to get if you want to see the Giga Drain come, you're like on a timer. So you kinda have to wait. Like if you wait too long you're gonna get hit with something. Alright. Well, Let's go. We have Garchomp versus Suicune here. All right. Let's okay. see. Ooh. Going for CADCs into the grab. Water Gun's coming out. He's going. He's staying in the back, just trying to zone him out. Here's that basic neutral. Gets the Good. knockdown. Still, he's walking backwards still, even with the knockdown. So he's still trying to keep the zoning pressure on. He doesn't want Garchomp anywhere near him. That, that was almost a good move. Almost. Ooh, I see a connection right now. Now Suicune's in the floor. Yep, hard to guess that wake up. Guess it with the sand turn. He has the field advantage now. He can get going in. Oh, Sweet. Fenrir not blocking. Here's and the wall pressure begins. Is that another wall? Oh. Oh, he misses to confirm, the but he's still in the wall. Still has to guess. Oh, and good mix up. Good mix up after that. He, he kept on approaching with Dig every time, and then he yeah. finally got that mix up when he thought he was just going to come out of the ground. Yeah. Good stuff there by Juko. Thing about pressing counters so much against Garchomp and Field, that little pizza cutter, it will <laughs> hit your counter frames. Right. It'll count, hit them when they're vulnerable. Because oh. of just the delayed hit. I think we might see a connection. He might hit counter attack again. No, he nope. blocked. That is safe. Oh. Hits the vulnerable frames again, but the reversal happens. Under the ground, but oh, double miss. That was a good attempt, though, to get underneath uh, the blizzard. Yeah, it worked before. He tried it again. Didn't hit, but at least no one got hit. Standard horse kick combo, and now he has stage control. Oh, field control again. And the phase the shift. Field control. And he's all the way over back there with the phase shift. It's going to be really hard for him to get back right back in. Trying to counter into that counter. Speaking counter first. Good read on but that grab. Goes for a grab with the rage. This is going to deal so much damage. Oh my gosh. That's about 270. I don't know. Nice. Can counter again. Oh, we, will is this that hit? Gonna connect? No, no, it did not. High profiles completely. Uh, that would have been a good time to burst. You might like, see the kill? Yes. That would have been a good time for him to fake out with the. Uh, Yes. Command grab cancel into burst right yeah. there. I don't think he should have went for grab. I think he should have went for something safer at least. At least maybe like a jab or something. See what he was going to do. Sand attack is definitely unsafe there. We uh, get the there you go. That's a hit. That's going to counter face. Nice. He gets the knockdown, which is going to be very problematic for Silver. Oh my gosh. What's next? Oh, that was a good mix up. I'm glad to see uh, Juko using a good support now, other than Glagsire. <laughs> he can actually Glagsire. optimize it. Well, Glagsire's not bad now, but still. He can, I mean, it looks like he can optimize his combos better off of, of Elto. Yeah, if Elto's like the common choice for Garchomp, because nice. it does seal off a lot of things. It makes it hard. Like, the one first shot way to get out of the corner is by using Burst. But if Elto seals your Burst. Right. He's missing these combos. Oh, and the anti-air. I don't, I don't agree with that Earthquake right there, because he could have just went for Burst like that. But this time he didn't press anything, so he should be safe. Oh, oh no. just barely misses him. Out of the ground too early. Veltel's back up. We might see another one. Pizza Cutter does not connect. Oh, Diglett. Diglett. Canceled Earthquake. Tries to hit the vulnerable frames, but doesn't hit it. Hits it a bit too early. Should stay in air just a little bit longer, would have hit. Good stuff from both players, though. That was a very intense match, especially when you had um, just the Garchomp pressure in the corner. Fenry adapted pretty well um, to be able to uh, just get out of the corner pressure continuously. Yeah, he's using good. counter at the mo at the ranges where you can't grab him, so it's like safe pressure when he hits it. For sure. I feel like Jugo just needs to focus on when he does try and go underneath Wizard, time it a bit better. Uh, but other than that, that could become Rita. So that means, like, anytime Fenry jumps, he could bait the dig and then punish it on landing, potentially. Yeah, I see. I'd say to, like, once once he's, like, in the mid range where he's about to get him, you just keep playing patient until you hit something that is a bit unsafe, like maybe, like, minus eight, then do something that's, like, a jab. I think that would actually help instead of trying to guess where he's going to go attack or counter. Right. Hit something safer so it will be boastful. 
Like, uh, was it 5x? It's a bit. No, not really. I'm thinking of 4x, I think. <laughs> uh, we're in the other settings. Technical difficulties? I'm not sure. Uh, probably, uh. Oh, gamepad. Okay, the gamepad. Wait, Roderick, what did that do? What did that do? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, he, he was just turning up the game audio. Oh, all right. So if it was game one, we don't see a character switch. He's going to keep playing Garchomp in this matchup. I mean, he was adapting very well to the pressure that Fenrir was applying and just yeah. finding a way to weave in there and get him in the corner. I'm not sure if he won a round in that game. Did he? Uh, he won round one. Okay, good. So, But Fenrir adapted um, after he dropped some combos game two. So it's not a one-sided matchup. They can not be killing each other right now. <laughs> Here we go into game two. Silver's up, but not by much. All right, so what do you think he could be doing differently now to mix up his pressure as far as to keep Garchomp out? Um, okay, so I think he should be jumping. Okay, maybe not. So right now, there's not much he can do. He's in the corner. He has to guess how to get out of here. But the grab crush here. Zoning. And he Still misses the timing a bit too again. early again. Maybe he shouldn't be going for that. Maybe he should go for something else. Or maybe he should just, just hold the block. If it's not working out, just hold the block. Just Sand attack, beating Ice Wall. Good stuff there. Yep. Just barely hit the range. He had the dig, but he decided to cancel it. There we go. We see the ground confirm. 5x. Gets the combo and the face shift. Wall split. He's got the huge frame advantage here, but he oh. misses the meaty. The meaty fi uh, 5x. So, okay, so we see the clash. To. But it's not, it's not going to work, so he's, he's probably going to... it better. Yeah. Oh, no. He could have had that win. That's unsafe. Hold up block. He might have hit another button. He might have jumped. He might have did something. He's safe. And, oh! Good read there. Tries to check grab. Almost gets it. Finn receives it from 30 games away. Gets him with the grab crush. It's just the tassels. Just almost. Almost had him with that. Good mix up there with the earthquake, but doesn't quite get the confirm. Oh, we see the grab crush. Garchomp in advantage. On the ground near the wall. What's next? Goes for another grab crush. That was Goes a good for mix command up. counter. He gets the phase shift, but that, that's fine. Oh no. That was a really good mix of there by Juko because so far he's been doing command grab every time in the corner. Every he time. Mixed yeah. it up. And he's always been grab crushing. So it was probably one of the best things he could do there. Oh, good combo. And he goes for another grab crush. All right. He tried to time that meaty. Uh, I don't know what the move is called. The overhead. He misses the meaty timing. He needs to burst here. Think about trying the meaty timing over when he has like a frame nine. He got the timer That's really well. Oh. oh goes for a weak attack. weak attack. That's not the right option. <laughs> okay, it's one to one. One game for Silver until he makes it out of this game. And also, Garchomp has no burst, so this might be kind of difficult for him, but he wins the first field, so it might be a bit difficult. I mean, especially if he gets oh. that Aveltal read, he could lock the burst and have more time to farm for it. That's right. No counter from that. He's trying to get that JY confirmed. Oh, goes for the 5A. This is a... Trying to meet... He uh, faked out the uh, TAC grab. There's Good a Stone Edge. I think we might see the media Veltal. Okay, yep. here's the Veltal. It might have been too early. He might be able to react out his block. Yes. Okay, we well, went for Burst instead. I did not. Oh. Yes, exactly. He can just do that. That was a good mix-up on block, but he shouldn't have earthquaked yet. Yeah, he shouldn't have. He probably should have went for empty. If he went for empty, he would have been able to get safe. And the not worst over he can, yet, though. Yeah, not over yet, but that's a crit, so that's going to do way too much. But he gets one field. If he wins the next field. No. That's the game. 
But if he would have won the next field, his synergy would have been full. It would have been full. Um, he would have got some health back. He might have still been in reach. And yes. That would have just ended the set right there if he still hadn't. Would have ended the game. It probably yeah. would have ended the game. Probably would have ended the game. All right. So I believe we have you up next on stream. Okay. So I'm up on stream. I believe so. Thank you, everyone. Oro's up on leave. stream, right? All right. Well, it was great commentating with you, Oro. Thank you. Hope to see you again later, dude. All right, and we have the man himself, Silver, joining us back on commentary over here. Hey, uh, MG, you two need to play off screen. Oh, man. Has he played his other match yet? Johnny, I got DQ. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Can we play on stream then? Uh, he already has. We're just going to let him run it. All right, I mean, if it doesn't hold bracket up, bracket up can we just wait? Uh, or is that going to hold? It's the only match that, like, he's the only match Oh, okay. Not a problem. All right, well, I'm going to go play a match as well. So you're going to have Fenry solo commentary here. Here we go. Enjoy, guys. Well, slow everything down once we're in top eight and like to run what's Okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, my. Come on. I guess we're not. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, it's your boy, Silver, back on the mic. Um, we are in between matches trying to figure out a couple of things, but did you see me and that Garchomp, though? I made it past the first round, boys. I am Silver's proud. This is, this is his tourney comeback and basically his commentary debut since STLS didn't give us the VODs, but it's all good. I'm here to play. I'm here to keep you guys hype. That's my job. Silver loves the Pokemon community. And I hope you guys love me too, even though I'm terrible. <laughs> but it is all good. Um, I'm trying to see who we got up next. I'll let you guys know in a minute. Let you guys know how things are about to roll. But it is live here at Gwinnett, Gwinnett Bro. I'm so glad that I got this Saturday off to be able to come out and like and play and stuff. It's it's really nice. It's like really, really nice here. They got they got it they got it running smooth as hell. So um what's up chat? I mean how you guys doing? How's my poking people's doing man? It's good to see you guys again. Yo, we got we got retweets. We got we got retweets. I'm looking at my Twitter now, man. All these retweets and likes and stuff on the link. I appreciate that, guys. Shout out to homie Catfight. Shout out to Cyanide. Shout out to Milne. All these people on the retweets and the likes. I appreciate you guys, man. Getting the name of Georgia out there. We are gonna make Pokemon great again. <laughs> we're going to make Pokemon make great, great again. That's, well, what's, that's what's going live right now, guys. MG joining back with you guys. Uh, Oro's match, uh, his prior match is being reopened. His uh, opponent's getting undequeued. So they're going to play that. Because that's how we play, boys. We undequeue people. This is the. This is. <laughs> we want to just grow the scene and get as much experience as we can. I know, can. right? Guys, if you come out here, we do late registrations. Whoa. We do call ins. We do undequeued. No, I'm <laughs> just. You're gonna give people the wrong information Yo, I'm, here. Guys, come in. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't whoa, listen whoa. to anything I say. Do not <laughs> listen to anything I say at all. I am just trying to get hype, having a having a good time. So I will play the winner of that match. I believe we will be on stream next. Um, okay, cool. So cool, it's either cool. gonna be me versus Oro or. It's gonna be you versus Oro. I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. You you're gonna yeah. Oro's gonna body you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> Or is going to body everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm just, as like, long as he doesn't go Gengar. Because last time he went Gengar, I beat his Gengar. So. Okay. No, he, well, he might. He might do it first round and then. Yeah, I beat him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two one. I mean, two zero. And so the match for Oro, who, me, whoever wins that match, will play on stream next, right? The winners, I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. But now we have Wayland. JR 